Hey, Dan here with Sprout Screen some more. I'm in my back garden, and we're gonna take a look at this fence line. And I had put plywood up here for privacy for the people behind me and ourselves. And the dogs were fighting through the fence, so I put this plywood up. But what it did was it took away the fence line for my trellising on like my green beans and the peas. I'm going to build a uh, trellis across this back line here and I'm going to show you. It was all filled full of weeds and I got most of the weeds out of here and you can see and I have a fava bean right there and we're going to leave that right now. So we're going to do some T-poles and I found some 12 footers and I don't know if you can see it but we're not going to go all the way across we're just going to go to the end of where the board is and then we're going to come across here so it's 8 16 so 20 about 24 feet and we're going to do a nylon trellis okay <laughs> so i got the the weeds out of course big dogs there's dog next door so i got the post right there and let me shoot it from this angle over here of course, this bed's all. Okay. Hey, go. Go. <laughs> so, hey, go. Now. So, if you look right here, I'm going to come about. Quit. I'm going to come about. Eight inches, and as you guys know, I don't really measure too much stuff, but I know the board's eight feet, and I know you can do a conduit on the top, but I'm probably just gonna wire, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do it yet, but I know I'm gonna use the nylon trellis. Come on, go. And so I'm gonna do three posts every 10 feet. And then I'll run the trellis all the way down. So let me pound these in. I got them up again. And you can see these are the tall ones. So I'm going to try to pound them into where it's only 10 feet high. Hey, Dan here. <laughs> so I'm back on the line trellis. Actually, I'm doing a couple projects. I'm doing a brick project. But this is going to be for the line trellis. It's not a line trellis. It's actually a nylon trellis for sweet peas and cucumbers, basically. And anything else I wanna grow on it, like if I wanna grow some melons on it, I could grow some melons like cantaloupe or just smaller melons. Watermelon might be a little too heavy for the nylon. So I wanna show you what I'm doing here is I had, and I had shown in the first part, I, and I've got the top rail. I don't know if you can see that top rail but I've got it across the top. And what I did was I just took the, the T's and those are one and a half inch that are on the T posts. And those T posts are 15 feet. And so from the ground to there is about 88 inches. So it's right there needs to come down probably about another five inches. So I'm gonna get that done and I had my neighbor gave me one of those one and a half inch tees, so I'm gonna go get that. And I don't mind if it's sticking out, like you can see it sticking out the end. And then what I bought, and I think I already showed you guys this, is in that rail is actually, I believe that's a one inch, that's a one inch conduit. So what I did here is I bought the one inch couplers and this this is pretty slick so you just i'm gonna go get my phillips screwdriver and then i'll couple these together at the top there and then i can just run it as far as i can Alrighty, so i got i got that and you can see i gotta stand on my raised bed which i don't like doing but we're gonna so you can see the joint right there. And what I did was I moved it into the T so it would be a little more supportive. I couldn't get it to go all the way in. And then that one over there is a little crooked, 
but for the most part I got it pretty even so let me back up and film this thing so you can see and I did a few little measurements it's still up a little high but for the most part it's good and I'm not worried about the ends of a little sticking out I'll just run the I mean, it'll be okay. That way I can attach another one if I decide to do another one. And then I think this is going to come out really slick. So now I'm going to hang the netting. And I'm actually probably going to set up my tripod and do that. So you can kind of see. Now I had thought about weaving the netting on the top. But I think I'm just going to zip tie it for right now started the top there and I just kind of pulled the pulled the, the conduit out and then threaded it through one one thing so it's actually locked in there and then I'm gonna grab my zip ties right here and I'm gonna kind of work down the t-post and then I'm gonna work down the T-post and then I'm gonna work my way across the top rail. And I should have got longer zip ties for around here because like I zip tie tarps to the fence. These are about six or seven inches and they need to be about eight to 10. But these are gonna work for today's project. having an issue with the ladder against the fence and I really don't have enough area to stand the ladder up so I'm gonna try but I'm definitely having an issue with the ladder against the fence so I'm gonna try to stand this up but it's gonna be pretty rocky and when you're doing ladder work I'm an ex-painter so you definitely want to make sure those are locked in. If you fall off a ladder, you can break your damn neck. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that will happen when I'm taping this. Who knows? But we're gonna try to get up here. And I was having an issue with the trellis, and it started getting all tangled up. And so I got my mic on the tomato cage here. Hopefully, you can hear me all right. want to keep pulling it tight across the top hopefully I don't fall off this ladder I'm pretty good at ladders I've been climbing them pretty much all my life
and so that's coming along pretty good I'm just gonna run across the top here and secure the whole top I'm gonna move my other ladder and then stretch this trellis out and then what I'll do is I'll pull it taunt as I work it down too from post to post and hopefully you get a nice tight uh, nylon trellis so let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end and when I'm securing the T-post all the way down. Okay, so I got it done. <laughs> so I had a little thing go on where I couldn't get the post on the end down far enough and I had thought it out to where if I pound it down far enough, then the trellis will hit the ground and I couldn't get it to go any further. I really need these at like 75 inches at seven foot and they were at eight. And so I was shy on the bottom. And I'm gonna show you guys. So what my plan was is to take these and if you don't have any of these, these are called fabric stakes. And you can get them at almost any irrigation store, any place that sells the fabric cloth. And it's just really good. It's just, these are really cool. I use them for the plastic, to cover seeds on the raised beds. I use it to stake the plastic down over the hoops. Like if you look at this hoop, Right here, you can draw the plastic over it and then bring it in like this. Let me see if I can show you. I don't have any plastic, but you can put the plastic down like that. And then on all the, all the ground coverings that I do in the front, I use a ton of these stakes. And I wish I had ones that were longer for this project, but I don't. And I'm not going to buy them. The box costs about 20 bucks, and I got these, so I'll just use more in the soil and kind of pack the soil down a little more when I put the seed in there. So let me show you what I did. I had to roll out the, the um, nylon trellis again and actually cut a two and a half, like three squares. So it was like a foot and a half. I was short on the bottom. But I made it work. I had plenty of nylon trellis, so it wasn't a big deal. And then what I did here, and I used trays for everything. I mean, I literally use them for everything. So sometimes this trellis line can get really all tangled up. So what I did, this is my invention, you guys. I used the tray as the roller for the extra that I cut off <laughs> and you can see and then it just and to be honest I can probably just take it and kind of bunch it like this right here and then because I don't want it to get all tangled on the end there just grab it I was thinking I could use one of those things, but I have a zip tie right here. So what I'll do is just kind of go around most of it on the inside and then just zip tie it to here. Like that. And then it won't come undone and it won't get all tangled. If I'm just going to just throw it in the, the, the shed the, the what I call the tool shed for all my tools but lately my tools are all laying around because I've been working my butt off so let me show you this line trellis and let me show you what I'm going to do with these stakes Hopefully you guys can see this so you can see the whole 
and I'll go from the other side, but you can see the whole trellis, maybe. Maybe you can't see it. But you can see where I attached it, and I had to cut like three squares. One, two, three, and you can see where it's loose. But I wanted it to be, and I might have to go through and just zip tie it to the bottom here, like right here. And that's going to be fine. And then what I'll do is go through and I left enough to where I could draw it down and then draw the stakes down. And I left an extra one just in case because <laughs> I worked really hard on this and it came out really good. And let me go over to the other side and see if you can see it. So that was the only, and it wasn't really a mistake. It was just a thing where I couldn't get that post all the way down. I think I hit a root on that tree that's underneath and it wouldn't go down any further. I banged on that sucker and she just wouldn't go down. So let me go over here and you can see this trellis. And then that little bit I wound up, this trellis was kind of broke at the bottom here. So I might take that trellis and restring some of these end trellises with that ones over there on the on the uh, tray now. <laughs> Try to utilize everything. So if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it. Can't really see it too well. But you can, maybe you can see it. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> so it, it's pretty taut and it's pretty tight. And the only thing is, is just I got to secure the bottom. And I'll just go through and zip tie it. And it's going to work out great. And then I'll just fill this soil bed up all the way. And then pack it down a little bit. Not too much. And then... And then we'll get the peas in there. I probably won't have time today, but I'll definitely plant the peas in there. And you can see where that raised bed is down a lot. And I have a lot of extra soil coming off where I'm straightening out the brick over there. And you can see I went and I grabbed my level because I was off level. So I was kind of redoing I wanted to do it as level as possible. But back to the trellis, it came out really good. You can see at the top there. Let me see if I can. And now I now I don't have to utilize the fence and get stuff all in the chain link. And now I have my own line trails. And I'm gonna do one in the front with the T-bows, but we're not going to do the nylon. I'm going to do line trellis like I am in the um, tomato greenhouse. But I'm going to just tie strings. I'm not going to use rollers out there because there's no way to attach them to the, the one inch conduit. So anyway, you can kind of see. Let me focus. Like I brought that joint right up into that T. And then you can see it came out really slick. So let me try to shoot from this side. Like I said, I'm a gardener, man. And I knew that needed to come down their foot, but I didn't have a T-post pounder. My buddy said I could use it. I guess I should have went and got it. But it's all right. It worked out good. And now you can see. Now you can see, and now we're ready. Now I've been wanting to do this for about three years, and I just never had the time. And I used all the material that came off the farm, so it was like no cost to me at all. Initial cost today, this week. So it's everything I had laying around, so good deal. Get out of the raised bed. <laughs> hey, get out of there. Hey go <laughs> not too bad huh? 
anyway this is gonna be awesome once we get everything on it and trail sing up it so i hope you guys like this video there's several different ways to do this but i just thought this would be the easiest way for me and there are other ways where you could tie it you didn't have to use zip ties you could do string for that matter there's just so many different options and i had the one inch conduit laying around a buddy of mine used to do the swap meets and he gave me all that one inch he used to do those tents with the tarp over the top and so i had all that laying on top of a shed and so i just used that instead of going and buying but you, realistically you could probably do a smaller t and do quarter or half inch on the top or you could do like you could do a wire like just wrap wire around the top and attach your trellis to that there's so many different ways to do things this is just how i did it and it came out really slick and so i hope you like this video and please subscribe like the video and then you can make comments and i'll try to answer if anyone comments i'll try to answer uh right away and and try to help you with anything that you have going on so this is dan keep gardening for life <laughs> again peace i'm out of here and we'll see you on the next one